we're back. Uh, so we're trying to find uh, Warren's friend, Burns Flipper, uh, here down by the docks. Let's go see what we can find out. Okay. Cargo containers. Clearly. That thing hasn't sailed for years. It's just a big hunk of rust with paint on it now. Okay. The shipyard's been closed down, but all the machines are still there. It's a wonder nobody's bothered to dismantle it to prevent accidents. Future things have gone bad. So there's... Turn around here somewhere. Construction yard. Let's check that out. These long drum back shots, you can just barely see April. Jeez. It's a rickety ladder. Clearly. Um. What do we got here? Garage. Maybe that's it? Let's see anything else that I can use here. Okay. Machine. Tubes. Hover. Junk. Expensive junk, but still junk. Man, I want a junky hover car. Okay. So, another Where tube. there's ventilation, there's life. I don't think that's going to catch on as a phrase. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint, then? so last century. Um, sure. It's a container. I've been up close and personal with enough trash for one lifetime. Yeah, I don't really blame you. Where there's ventilation, there's life. Even if I could somehow squeeze through that hole, there's just no way I'm gonna risk getting stuck ten feet down and starved to death. Okay, that's fair. Um, oh yeah, you said like knock three times? Oh, well, I have to do this myself. You're trespassing. You gotta leave now. Where'd that come from? I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fucking off? Warren called you on my behalf. Warren Hughes. You know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Yeah, but... So, fuck off already. My stuttering here, <laughs> Jesus H. Christ, you'd think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand. I like this guy. I'm not a slag. Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't enough here worth shit, you know? I got no beat with your posse, so fuck off. No, no, I'm... A corp, yeah. I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. Wow. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Could you, like, shut up? Up for just one second? <laughs> Chill out! I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours. And he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? <laughs> ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think it was born yesterday? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the blipper. Like I fight because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. You know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Wow, this guy's a jerk. Well, you're such good a current. bastard! Listen! I was out to arrest you. Don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. 
April Ryan, huh? Shit, my channel and warm was scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. You're telling me that that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. Okay. Well. That was, uh, enlightening. And that's not creepy at all. Into the pit. They don't look very solid. Stairs, stairs. Cyberpunkish. Very cyberpunkish. Is there cyberpunk in the future? Apparently. It's a guy in a hover chair. That's got to be Burns Flipper. All right, let's talk to this dude. Hello. Are you Burn? Yeah. Chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. How'd you get down here? Who the hell are you? Oh I knocked, you let me in, we spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend April? Warren who? I don't know any war- Oh, Warren, right, yeah, Fire Lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier, the Flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah, oh, you his baby, yeah. Oh, sure, I date 15 year olds all the time. Whatever. So, what the fuck do you want? I really like this guy. I just gotta say that. I need some information. So visit the fucking library. Or go bother the Oracle or whatever. The Flipper can't help you. That's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Nice. Yeah. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? About you being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. I guess you can't help me. Fuck yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was, better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams, the emperor of the feed, baby. What kind of information do you need? Hmm. I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltex and shit, they got security, top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. What do you mean? Details! Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman! There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map! Okay. Is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. I sell everything from joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max, illegality. What would be the fucking point otherwise? The satellites and BH generators? What I don't have here, I can get for a price. This place ain't your neighborhood S Mart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop S Mart. All right, now, what I got here costs moolah, mucho moolah. Are you in the market for a neutronium bomb, by the by? Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool 100 million, huh? Bargain. Interested? Sure. Let me just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> wow. We went from friggin' Army of Darkness to Pee Wee Herman in one conversation. What happened to your legs? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? You want to know? I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to know. That's how you took my legs, Captain Crunch. Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. Sure. Are you a virgin? Oh, Jesus. What? I ain't telling you nothing until you answer the question there, Trebek. 
I'm not a virgin. Good for you. Who'd you lose it to, Warren? What? No! Why the hell are you... I lost my legs when I was 18. I was doing odd jobs, breaking into high security accounts, spying, shit like that. I was hitting MTI at the time. Malkuth Technologies, big guys, big guns. So they caught me with my finger up the proverbial anus. You know what I'm saying? I was hooked up, cruising their network, when they hit me with some shit hits the fan tech. Fried my brain like breakfast sausages. Major brain malfunction. I was dead as a lesbian black chick at a Republican fundraiser. What the Woke hell? up from the coma a week later. Some shit spewing goons from MTI are hovering over me. They tell me, try that again, dickhead, you die. Yeah, shit like that. Then I found out my legs are cut off. Sure, I can get some new ones, no problem. But that costs like an arm and a leg. Ha! Get it? An arm and a leg. Shit, I'm funny. Sure. Now I start building me this hovercraft chair instead. It only works in here, but I don't care. Never leave the damn place anyway. That's the story. Not a virgin. You tell me something personal? I'll tell you something personal. And the world keeps turning round and round and round again because the flipper's on board. You're weird. <laughs> so are you. I need information on a guy called Jacob. I need details, D E T A I L. Details, woman, I need something. I can't go on what you're talking about. You like talking Latin. So... Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. Alright, I gotta give him something a little more concrete. I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns, yeah. Beautiful. Ha! See ya! Okay. So he needs more concrete info. Huh. Got this from the police station. Will this do something? Hmm. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it, I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Yeah, why not? Could you? Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little play thing, I'd kick you out. And whatever. Hand it over and I'll give me a few minutes. Alright, getting somewhere here. Do, 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 do. Spin your partner, do -si do Still can't do anything. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. It's good stuff, though. Precious information. And I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flipster. So, what can you tell me about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. But first... Take a look at this recording. Step over to the screen there, I'll play it back for you, okay? Okay, something on here. To join in the effort, we must charge forward into a new era of compassion, companionship, and goodwill. An era of expansion and Enrichment. A cold era. We must forge a future. 
future for ourselves, our children, and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. We shall be victorious. Sure. What the Church of Voltec was created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives and into our world. Spirituality and knowledge. Our enemies have suppressed the truth for too long. We can no longer stand idly by while they spread their lies and their disinformation to the people of our planet. We must so fight to bring magic to start We must this? take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. I am not my nature a man of violence, nor are you. I know that. But the time comes when all people must do their duty to protect their ideology and to preserve That's their it. beliefs. That time has come. Our time has come. We will do what we must to protect ourselves and our families. We will do what we must to defend our beliefs against the heretics. We will go to war if that's what it takes. It's kind of generic, really, I think. charismatic cold. What do you think? Your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGowan. Head honcho of the Church of Voltec, or the Vanguard if you wish. Supposed peaceful philosopher dude. Not the case as it turns out. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here. And I love it. <laughs> But I thought the Church of Voltec was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. You and 20 billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, as clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the clear screen again. Simple as butter? Who's this? Ah, it's a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looking dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info on this data cube. Yeah! The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. Their grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. I've seen everything. From what I can tell, the Vanguard are up against an enemy they call the Fathers of the Sentinel. I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. Anyhow, this guy Gordon, he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was, for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap. It's just bullshit. But, both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important, so when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking thing. He's trying to control these powers he has? They fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up. Split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. Stark and Arcadia. So now this dude Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too. You know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. Now, he runs the whole dark side of the Church of Voltec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? I don't know, maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses, and I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, where are the Vanguard headquarters? Uh, 
You're either very brave or very stupid, Jaquita. But whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Hmm. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. I'll take that chance. Shit. You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Are you... Why are you doing it? That's a very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operation, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Which is? MTI, Malkuth Technologies Incorporated. Big guys, almost as big as Bokamba Mercer. Fake the hell out of me, but it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Huh. Which is kind of funny. Because I got some beef with MTI, some heavy-duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard elite. And do you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are located? I'm the flipper, dude! What the fuck do you think? Shit! Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. I don't know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ! You're kidding, yeah? That's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. How do I get there? Sorry, babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. you gotta have proper ID, top level ID, to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry! Well, that's it. Um, so can I... Can I have you forge an ID for me, maybe? Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking, what do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Pitbull Terriers? Shit. Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Can we discuss the fake yeah, identification the here, I need? Baby, I gotta tell you. It's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. And sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like, $300. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Try 20k on for size, shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. It don't come cheap, that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which for a friend of Warren's, I just may. <laughs> It'll still come to $15,000, baby. Huh. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita, that urge disappeared with my little legs. No! Oh, not that! God forbid! <laughs> More like a, a favor or something you need. Don't think I need it. Whoa! God! Shit, it gets me every time. What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. 
If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> if you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure. Like you're gonna find one. <laughs> What would I need to get you to pay for a fake ID? A new working AG control unit from my chair would be real nice. Wicked nice. Thanks. Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, I know where I can get an anti-grav unit off that crash to... whatever that is. I'll wait for the police station. Okay, well, I think that's enough for now. And, uh... We'll see you next time.